Hello students. Last class we have discussed with the nomenclature of ketones. Now let us continue with the methods of preparation of ketones. As you all know in case of aldehydes the first method of preparation was from oxidation of primary alcohols. Here instead of a primary alcohol we will be taking a secondary alcohol. So the first method of preparation is by oxidation of secondary alcohol. Now the general representation of a secondary alcohol is given here. Yes, R C H O H R dash. And the nascent oxygen, oxygen written in square bracket is obtained by using powerful oxidizing agent like either acidified potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 in H2SO4 or even you can use acidified potassium permanganate. Just look there. Shift in the position of pair of electrons of the OH bond forming C double bond O bond the arrow is indicated. Elimination of water gives you R C double bond O R dash which is nothing but the ketone plus H2O. So this is the first method of preparation by oxidation of secondary alcohols. If we take one particular example that of propane to all CH3 CHOH CH3. On oxidation with acidified potassium dichromate, the ketone obtained will be propane to own or acetone with the elimination of water. The second method of preparation is by catalytic dehydrogenation of secondary alcohols. I hope you remember the dehydrogenation of primary alcohols to get the product as aldehydes. Now here it is the catalytic dehydrogenation of secondary alcohols. Now here also you must take the vapors of a secondary alcohol. Yes, vapors of a secondary alcohol on passing through copper catalyst at a temperature of around 573 Kelvin. H2 is eliminated and you get the product as ketone RC double bond O R dash plus H2. So this is dehydrogenation reaction of secondary alcohol. Now if you take the vapors of propane to all and pass over copper catalyst at 573 Kelvin temperature the product obtained will be propane to own with the elimination of H2. So this is the second method of preparation that is from the catalytic dehydrogenation of secondary alcohols. Now the next method of preparation is from acyl chloride. RCO group is called as acyl chloride. Now acyl chloride reacts with a reagent called as dialkyl cadmium. Alkyl group is represented by R. So dialkyl cadmium will be R2CD and this dialkyl cadmium R2CD is obtained by taking Grignard reagent. I hope you remember Grignard reagent is nothing but alkyl magnesium halide RMGX reacts with cadmium chloride CdCl2. So R2CD is the dialkyl cadmium formed with the elimination of MgXCl. Yes. So this dialkyl cadmium which is formed reacts with the acyl chloride R-COCl plus R2CD. Two molecules are taken here so that you will balance the reaction equation. And the product formed is a ketone RC double bond O R dash with the elimination of the byproduct CdCl2 cadmium chloride. Once again, this cadmium chloride can be used in the first step. So, this is the next method of preparation from acyl chloride. Another important method of preparation is from the parent aromatic hydrocarbon that is benzene. Benzene is the parent aromatic hydrocarbon even you can use substituted benzene that is nothing but aromatic hydrocarbons. So the parent aromatic hydrocarbon benzene reacts with acyl chloride. So this is a named reaction students it is called as Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction. Benzene or substituted benzene on treatment with 
அசாயில் குளோரைடு in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride catalyst ELCl3. The acyl group is introduced into the aromatic ring RCO group so that you will get the product as aromatic ketone with the elimination of HCl. Now if you take one particular example that of the reaction of benzene with acetyl chloride CH3COCl is acetyl chloride. So benzene reacts with acetyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminium chloride catalyst and the product formed is the aromatic ketone acetophenone C6H5C double bond OCH3 with the elimination of HCl. So these are the different methods of preparation. Remember this is a named reaction called as Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction. Now coming to the next part that is physical properties. Now the lower ketones up to 4 carbon atoms they exist as colorless liquids whereas the higher members greater than 5 carbon atoms exist as colorless solids. Now the lower ketones up to 4 carbon atoms are soluble in water. The reason for their solubility is because of the for ability to form hydrogen bonding with water molecules. So therefore lower ketones are soluble in water whereas higher members are insoluble in water having greater than 5 carbon atoms but soluble in organic solvents like alcohol and ether. So these are the important physical properties of ketones. So if we come to the chemical properties of ketones. I hope you remember the different sets of reactions which we have discussed in aldehydes. The same set of reactions are answered here by ketones. The first set of reaction as in aldehydes is addition reactions. In particular addition of hydrogen cyanide. Hydrogen cyanide is HCN. So it is addition of hydrogen cyanide. <coughs> The general formula of a ketone RC double bond R dash plus HCN. HCN splits as H plus CN minus. Carbonyl group being polar forms C plus single bond O minus. H plus of HCN is picked by O minus to form OH and CN minus forms bond with CN. As I have already told the products having a hydroxy group OH and a cyano group bonded to the same carbon atom are called as cyanohydrins. So the product has the formula RCOHCNR dash which is nothing but a cyanohydrin. So ketones react with hydrogen cyanide to form cyanohydrin. If you take the example of propane to own or acetone reacts with hydrogen cyanide HCN. Just look to the arrows indicated there. To make it easier for you all to understand the formation of product, the product formed here will be, yes, acetone cyanohydrin, the addition product CH3, C, OH, CN, CH3, acetone cyanohydrin is the product formed. So this is the first addition reaction. Now the next addition reaction is similar to that of aldehydes i hope you remember it is addition of sodium hydrogen sulfite or it is also called as sodium bisulfite addition of sodium bisulfite once again you must take a saturated solution of sodium bisulfite just look at the equation here nahso3 splits as h plus s minus o3 na so ketones react with a saturated solution of sodium bisulfite to form a white crystalline precipitate of bisulfite addition compounds. So once again O- picks up H plus to form OH, S minus O3 Na forms bond with C. So that bisulfite addition compound which is a white crystalline precipitate formed as the product has the formula. RCR dash OH SO3 NA. If you take the example of acetone, CH3 C double bond O CH3 acetone reacts with a saturated solution of sodium bisulfite NAH SO3 so as to form the product as acetone bisulfite. So in place of R and R dash, it will be the two methyl groups of acetone CH3 and CH3. 
the product formed is acetone bisulfite now the next addition reaction is addition of alcohols this also we have discussed in case of aldehydes but here it is slightly different so addition of alcohols the next addition reaction last one here ketones react with the dihydric alcohol i have represented the general formula of ketone in this form so that the elimination of water is indicated easily so ketones react with the dihydric alcohol i hope you remember ch2oh single bond ch2oh is nothing but a dihydric alcohol ethylene glycol now the reaction takes place both in the forward as well as backward direction in the forward direction it is hydrogen chloride gas used for the reverse reaction it is dilute hydrochloric acid solution now if you look there H, H and O is eliminated as water and the carbon forms bond with both the hydrogen atoms so that you will end up with the product as a cyclic product it is a cyclic product called as ethylene glycol ketal just look here R, C, R and here O, C, H2, O, C, H2 with the elimination of H2, O continuation here elimination of h2 and o and the product formed is cyclic product which is called as ethylene glycol ketal so if you take acetone as an example acetone reacts with the dihydric alcohol ethylene glycol to give in the presence of hydrogen chloride gas to give the product as ethylene glycol acetal plus h2o with the elimination of water so these are the different addition reactions i hope you remember these set of addition reactions we have discussed even in case of aldehydes now the next set of reactions are condensation reactions in case of condensation reactions the same four condensation reactions are answered by ketones also so the first condensation reaction is with hydroxyl amine wherever there was h i'll just show here wherever there was h in aldehyde is being replaced by r dash remaining all product and by product molecules are the same so replace h of aldehyde by r dash you will get the product condensation products of ketones now the same four condensation reactions are answered by ketones first one is with hydroxylamine nh2oh ketones react with hydroxylamine nh2oh to give the product as ketoxime as i have already indicated there is rcr dash double bond o and h2 is eliminated as water you will get c double bond n oh which is nothing but a ketoxime rcr dash double bond n oh plus h2o if you take the example of acetone once again o and h2 is eliminated as water c double bond n o h is formed so that you will get the product as acetoxime the first condensation reaction now the next condensation reaction is with hydrazine as you all know the formula for hydrogen is nh2 single bond nh2 ketones react with hydrazine once again there is elimination of o and h2 as water and you will get the product as hydrazone c double bond n nh2 plus h2o if you take the example of acetone acetone reacts with hydrazine to form acetone hydrazone plus water this is the second condensation reaction wherever there is hydrogen in case of aldehyde replaced by r dash write and practice the reactions you will understand it much better now the third condensation reaction is with phenyl hydrazine c6h5 nh nh2 ketones react with phenyl hydrazine to give the product as phenyl hydrazones continuation here o and h2 is eliminated as water so from here it will be c double bond n nh c6h5 in the product which is nothing but phenyl hydrazone just look to the product there r c r dash double bond n single bond nh c6h5 plus h2o in all the condensation reaction here the by product eliminated is water molecule if you take the example of acetone acetone reacts with the phenyl hydrazine o and h2 is eliminated as water continuation c double bond n single bond nh c6h5 plus h2o you will get the product as acetone phenyl hydrazone so this is the 
third condensation reaction and the last condensation reaction is with semi carboxide now in case of semi carboxide the formula is nh2 nhco nh2 once again there is elimination of o and h2 as water and continuation here rc r dash double bond n nh c double bond o nh2 in the product with the elimination of water and it is called as semi carboxone replace r and r dash by methyl group you will get the example of acetone acetone reacts with semi carboxide nh2 nh c double bond o nh2 so as to eliminate water and the product formed will be ch3 c ch3 double bond n nh c double bond o nh2 plus h2 o and this product is called as acetone semi carboxone so these are the four different condensation reactions of ketones i hope the condensation reactions are clear so we have discussed with the first set addition reaction the second set condensation reaction in the next class i will discuss with the third set of reactions that is oxidation reactions so i'll be stopping the class here thank you